Hey guys, welcome back to the Honey Stead. Today we are going to harvest some honey. Completely capped, all capped honey. It's beautiful. There's a couple of spots that are open, but there's actually a little bit of pollen in it, so I'm still able to harvest that one, and it looks beautiful. So a little beekeeping tip. These gloves are really awesome to use. And if you get stung in your hand, all you do is just smack it and then it pulls the stinger out right away. The moment that I pulled the stinger out, I went over and I took some of the honey and I rubbed it on it and the pain's already gone. I'm gonna go ahead and change my gloves just because the pheromones were already on those gloves. So by changing, I'm gonna start fresh and hopefully not get stung again. Check this one out. I accidentally tore off a little bit of the comb when I pulled it out, but oh my goodness. So we're gonna save all of this, all of the cappings. And this is what I use to make any type of beeswax material, lip balm or pretty much anything. Wood wax.
couple of techniques to actually do some extracting and I want to stress to you guys the importance of actually having good stable frames when you're doing an extractor especially with an electric I actually really want to keep as much comb as possible because I plan on giving it right back to the bees they're gonna clean it up fix what needs to be fixed and go ahead and start filling again some of the hives that we rescued from other locations actually didn't have the wire that runs through the hive that actually secures the wax foundation and holds the frame in tight. We found a couple of techniques that we actually used to actually save some of the hives, which we took rubber bands, we rubber band the frame together, and it's in the extractor now. We did have a couple of blowouts, so we MacGyvered it, and so far, so good. We're running the extractor about 10 minutes on each side, flipping the frame, spinning it more. We, were, we have about eight, how many hives left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have about eight hives left that we need to actually pull from. We are only pulling totally capped honey. So some of the frames we actually left for the girls, I'll probably be doing this again here in the next couple of weeks because some of the frames weren't actually all the way capped. But so far, so good. officially done for the harvest for right now. We didn't get as much honey as we anticipated, but that's okay. The girls are actually still working on a lot of their frames. They need to finish capping. We're gonna let them continue to cap it and maybe do another harvest in a couple of weeks and see how that goes. But after all that was said and done today, we were actually, we came out with a couple hundred pounds of honey. We left a lot of it for the girls and for some of our smaller hives that we actually split and some of the new nukes that we ended up getting this year. All in all, I'm very pleased with what we were able to get and also know, I just have that reassurance that I know my girls will be okay for the upcoming dearth. I will add that trying to videotape and harvest honey was not easy to do. So I'll apologize now if I didn't get all the footage that I wanted to. But hopefully you were able to get the gist of everything that we did today. The extractor worked really well. We did end up getting a couple of battle wounds in the long run. I got stung, my mom got stung like seven or eight times. Dad, did you get stung? Ah, Dad didn't get stung. He says he's the bee whisperer. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that you stay tuned. I'll make sure to take you guys into a hive with me on my next inspection. If you watched the video a couple of months ago on how I pieced in one of the hives with rubber bands, that's the hive I wanna give you guys an update on. We've started to see rubber bands being dragged out one by one and that's a really good sign that they are doing what they need to do and they're fixing their hive. It's been a really long day and it's time to clean up and then go in, get some dinner on the table. Thank you guys for watching and as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old.